Welcome to the Double E Show. Bad strategy, horribly simulated. What's going on, everybody? Jippa73, back with the Double E Show. Back on Double E Show and back on Double E Show Trucking. So, uh, this premiere of the game On the Road Truck Simulator will appear on both channels uh, for the first few weeks, and then it will appear mainly and only on the Double E Show Trucking channel. So, this game came out. I got a copy of uh, the game from the developer. Um, it's supposed to be very realistic, very um, true to the physics of the vehicles. It's supposed to be a pretty good representation of Germany with 6,500 kilometers of road. Um, and, uh, yeah, I've tinkered around with it a little bit to get used to the, the, uh, the, the physics and the driving. We'll see in a moment what it looks like. So we're going to create a new game. We're going to start out with the player name. Of course, the player's name is going to be uh, Jibba. And uh, we will accept that. Then the company name will be uh, Double E Trucking. Right? We will accept that. The player image. Uh, those are all the images we have to choose from. So, I'll go with uh, well, this dude. Uh, company logo. Let us go for the global swirl. Truck brand. Uh, we can do Scania or man trucks. Um, I'm sure everybody's going to do Scania, so I'm going to go man. And my headquarters can be in uh, any one of these cities. Um, Rostock is by the port. Uh, Hamburg, Berlin, Berlin would be Cologne. See, it's giving a representation of the cities, I'm assuming. Um, because that looks like a ship and a port and everything like that. Um, let's start off in Rostock, right? Why not? I, I, I mean, we're going to discover this together, so... Alright, so here we go. Game is loading. Now, again, we're going to figure this all out together. There's supposed to be missions that happen uh, to get you acclimated to the game. And... Uh, we're going to see if, uh, if they work, and, uh, and we're going to play those missions so we can get going. Now, uh, the gameplay is different than American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck uh, Simulator 2 in that you can exit your vehicle, walk around your vehicle, walk around the map. Um, here we go. Okay, so the overview menu. The overview menu shows your reputation progress. And offers a possibility to change your name, company name, and uh, company logo. It also contains emails documenting your progress in the game and your completed assignments. These mails can be deleted if you do not want to keep them. The bottom field lists the most important stats of your company. So there's the overview menu. So you got overview, logistics, vehicles, employee, finances. And you've got fueling, route planning, pickup and delivery, EU control unit and resting, and buy sell vehicles, and coupling decoupling. So these are the help menus. Now, the EU control unit and resting. When you get into the truck, you have to put a card into uh, an apparatus uh, that registers that you're signing in for work. And when you're not working, you have to remove said card. Um, so that you can uh, uh, show as resting. And you have to have a certain amount of rest for each one. Okay, so we got that. So, overview. Um, good day. My name is Rocco Shadle, or Shaddle, uh, and I am happy to guide you through the first steps and around the sandbanks establishing your business. Your headquarter and the first truck are good foundations for a successful haulage company. You should search for some assignments at companies nearby via the logistics menu. Combine several tours and rearrange them there to save miles and keep your truck reasonably loaded. 
Uh, I'll get back to you as soon as you are ready for the next step. Best regards, Rocco Shottle, Senior Consultant. P.S. Don't forget to fuel up. Oh, yeah, when you start out, you got no gas. It's kind of stupid. But there you go. So I have this. I'm going to not delete it because it does give me the tip to uh, plan a couple of jobs out and all that good stuff. Okay, so we have that. Now, logistics. Um, where are we? Uh, we are here. This is where Jibba is. Um, that's truck service. These are businesses. Um, I, easy tank is fuel. Okay, so to, to go get fuel, looks like it's over here. Uh, this company has no assignments compatible with your truck. Okay. Not what I'm looking to do. I'm looking to set... Alright, anyways. Okay, so vehicles. We have a Man TGX 2016 4x2 rigid box truck. So our loads are basically uh, a fixed rigid box. So no, no articulating trailer at this time. Um, right on. Okay, employees... Moi, um, my licenses, Advanced Course Class 1, Advanced Course Class 7, Advanced Course Tankers. I don't know what any of that means. Uh, get driver's license. Um, okay, so this is, ah, okay, so this is where I can go through the tutorials to get um, acclimated to the game. Very good. Okay, let's go over to Finances. So this will keep track of all of my company finances. Right now we have 153,000 euro value. I believe that's euros. Uh, or marks or whatever. Um, so there you go. And then we have, of course, the help. So help is down here. We will go to employee. We will go get driver's license. Yes. Uh, Okay. Uh, advanced course seven. Get driver's license. No. Oh, okay. Overview. Uh, that is the only email, right? Yep. Okay. Vehicles. Liquidity is only 6,500 euros. Logistics. Um, Jibba. Right. Oh, because uh, apparently I'll be able to hire additional truck drivers down the road. Got it. That makes sense. Uh, vehicles. Uh, TGX. Right. Okay. Condition. Brand new. Right on. Okay, so if I do this, I am now in the truck. Um, if I look up there... Uh, so ignition Q. Right. Running low on fuel. Very good. Okay, so now if I go tab, um, no, back out, uh, M. Current route, okay. So I would like to go. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want assignments there. I want to go there. Uh, eight times fast boot. No. Um, okay. Let's uh, escape that. Uh, let's hit escape. Resume company options. No. Okay. Now I'm looking way off to the right. F1. Oh, okay, that brings it up and drops down. Okay, so uh, park and brake is on. So left trigger. Okay, uh, park and brake. There you go. I want to go uh, this way. Uh, 
Okay. So let's, uh... You are running low on fuel. Put card into slot. Keypad. That would be this. Okay. Switch mode. Plus, 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 minus. Ah, uh, uh, come on. Okay. Confirm. Enter. Escape. No. There we go. Driving time exceeded. Oh, are you kidding me right now? I I, I don't know what the mode is. Um, put card in slot. If I look up there... Okay. All right. Okay, we're going back in here. So, it's an automatic vehicle. Um, I'm thinking I need to go this way. See, it's not telling me uh, what I need to do. Okay, resting. Okay. Apparently you can rest while you're driving. So what I'm looking for here is the fuel station. Um, very interesting. Okay. Okay. So, I think fuel station is down and around this bend, but I don't know. Let's go tab real quick. Um, logistics, where am I? I'm there. So, when I get to the end of the road, I need to take a right and then down on the left. Okay. Okay. So when I get down the end of the road here, into driving mode. Okay, I'm in driving mode maybe? I don't know. Uh, switch mode. Um, okay. Blow in the red light. Up on the curb. Okay. Um, is it this? Running, uh, okay, it was the star, not the minus, or the plus. Okay. So, trying to get to the gas station before I run out of fuel. This is, it's it's wonky. It's, it's extremely wonky. And uh, brakes are pretty hardcore. Okay, so apparently just straight down the road, I'll be at um, the gas station. Possibly. Physics on it, but uh, it's okay. I don't mind the automatic, that's for sure. Because uh, I couldn't see having to try to uh, shift and steer at the same time. Steering is... Um, I've got it set up to 900 degrees of rotation because that's actually what my wheel uh, is set to but as you can see I'm moving the slightest little bit and the steering wheel in game is moving a bunch okay going through the red light going around traffic don't hit me you did you hit me that was your fault okay trying to get to the gas station before I run out of fuel um, yeah, I know I'm running low on fuel. Okay, let's go tab. Uh, logistics, where am I? Okay, I'm getting close.
Very interesting. Okay, so this looks like a uh, kind of a roundabout sort of thing in the gas station. We're going to put on a turn signal. We're going to pull into the fuel this way. Come on. Come on. Okay. Come on. All right, now we're in the petrol station. And I'm going to do this. Um, no? Okay, so. Um, let's escape real quick. We will go options. We will go controls. No, that wasn't it. Q, E, Q, E. So, uh, okay. Cancel. Uh, we will resume. Um, I would like to get out of the truck. There we go. Okay, now, if I come back here, there we go, see? And then you hold down the button. And you're fueling up the truck. 1,200 liters at uh, 1.08 euro per liter. I don't know the conversion of liters and gallons and stuff. I'm, I'm not that good. But we're going to fill it up because it's important. All right. So 1,256 euro. Uh, we're going to walk around the truck here real quick so you can see me do that. Uh, nice looking premium logistics Spedition Walter. Okay, so we're gonna come back in the truck and we are back in the truck. Now, if I go tab, if I go logistics, I'm here. I want to see uh, is there something. That's truck service. Is there something there for me? That's uh, uh, stacked wood. If I did that, it would be stacked wood from Logistic Hub in Rostock to WWS in Rostock. 54 euro. Accept assignment. Okay. So, where is that? I, okay. Hopefully, it will show me on my little GPS down there. Okay, let's do this, put card in slot, I believe I'm now working, um, I'm not seeing, so anything coming that way, no, anything coming that way. Okay. Anything? Anything? Okay. We'll get out on the road. Oh my goodness. Uh, physics are rugged, and that guy is running up my butt. Uh, steering is washy at best. Get out of there. On the GPS, I can see the green line for where I need to go. Now, that guy's tailgating me fiercely. Um, the gas pedal has a extreme dead zone no I want to stay here because I want to turn left so I'm gonna let that guy in the truck behind me uh, sweat it out so this is <laughs> uh, yeah I'm gonna have to play around with the settings for sure because like I said the gas has a has an extreme dead zone uh, for the accelerator 
and uh, the break is a little intense. But, I mean, we got out and walked around the truck to fill the fuel tank. I'll take it. All right. I can already see traffic lights are going to be a pain in the butt. I'm not sure why it wants to start out in third, but that's neutral. That's drive. Yep. Okay. I knew it was on a green light. I just wanted to inch forward a skosh. It did not want me to inch forward a skosh. It wanted me to surge forward. <laughs> but hey, listen, it's a different physics game than what we're used to. Um, it's certainly a different type of control than what we're used to. And um, the steering has to be adjusted uh, tremendously. Okay, looks like we're going to be taking a right up here. So, there we go. Let us roll up. Um, the, the graphics are, are fine. Um, the field of view is a little strange. I'm going to have to see if there's adjustments for field of view. Because um, the field of view is a little narrow, really, if, you're, if you ask me. Hopefully not tip over the truck. Okay. And uh, try to keep it around 50, I guess. It's very hard because there's a huge dead zone to the accelerator. So I find myself in and out of the gas quite frequently. Uh, get out of your truck. Woot. All right, so let us pull in here. Um, it looks like I need to back up to that. So I'm going to do that now. Um, and then I'm gonna get out of my truck and walk into the freight office. But I'm going to back up to the loading door. Come on. There it is. Okay. Come on. Okay. So, I'm going to put it in neutral. I am going to get out of my truck and I'm going to walk over here. Uh, pick up stacked wood. Click. Okay. Please sign the freight documents. Accept. It's going to be different every time. Okay, so stacked wood. Yep, got it. Uh, board your truck. Uh, it looks like I backed in. Uh, yeah, it looks like I backed in good. Okay. Um, shift. Drive or reverse, am I loaded? So let's go tab. 
Uh, not what I wanted. F1. There we go. Am I loaded? I have no idea. So I'm going to put it in reverse. No. Apparently I need to put it in drive. So I must be good to go. I must be loaded up. Okay. And so then out we go this way. Ah, come on. Steering wheel. Nobody coming. Nobody coming. Alright. Down the road we go. At the end of the road we take a left. Trying to not go over the speed limit but it's hard with the gas pedal being the way that it is with the huge dead zone stay on my side of the road Put the left signal on. We will come to a stop. There we go. I, I'm assuming I have a load because it gave me a destination. I'm glad I start out with a box truck because I do not believe that I could handle a trailer with this uh, accelerator the way that it is. So, right off the bat, I can tell you, it's not easy to drive. So, I'm going to have to play around with the configuration. I, I had thought that I set up the configuration, but obviously I have some uh, fine-tuning to do. sure what that uh, car was doing. Oh, you're killing me, Smalls. I have no idea what that was. That was definitely some sound glitching. So sounds sounds need to be worked on a little bit. The uh, the game audio, for sure. Eeks. Okay. I'm not sure how much room I have to pull up next to him. So I'm just gonna hang here. Interesting little trip they sent me on. So we'll uh, come around over here. Looks like I can see the finish line up ahead. Um, looks like I'm 
going this way. Yeah, that, I mean, that's a, it's a pretty hefty barrier. Uh, looks like I'm going this way. I'm going to imagine the speed limit is not 50 in here. There's that sound glitch again. Okay. Coming through the port. Um, counter office. Bureau something or other. Right on. Okay. That looks like a container ship. Very cool. Coming around this bend. Um, not really smooth, rounded transitions in the lines in the road. They're more hexagonal. But it is what it is. Okay. Coming down the way here. I will find out where I have to put it. Get out of your truck and walk to the freight office. Okay, and I'm assuming that's up here. So, okay, there I gotta back it up. All right, right on. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up into here and then I am going to back it up into that little spot. Accelerator is so jumpy. Okay, so if I'm in line with this, it should turn green at some point. Right? There's green. Okay. Okay. Neutral. Right mouse button. Uh, we will go over this way. Okay. Deliver stacked wood. Okay. Deliver stacked wood. Row stock. Price 54 euros. Reputation plus 5. Damage 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. Now I can get back in my truck. So, that is, and I just bumped the bumpers. That is on the road. We're going to stick with this one for a little bit. Or we're going to try to anyhow. Um, so, listen, if you liked what you were watching, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Tell your family, tell your friends. If you have any suggestions, uh, what you'd like to see me do here on on the road or in on the road, put them in the comments below. Because I will read them. And with that, I will catch you next Wednesday for another episode of On the Road. Peace. That was a failure of epic proportions. Unacceptable.